Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Boston's 4th of July Association. It's 82nd annual independence celebration. This year is extra special because in addition to our usual Independence Day, we are also celebrating the 250th anniversary of the incorporation of the town of New Boston. The schedule of events is exciting and the fireworks promise to be spectacular. Actually, we, the state forced us to make a larger fireworks launch platform because they're so going to be so great this year. As we are, we are gathering now for the opening ceremony. Presenting the colors is the well-known and respected color guard of the new Boston Volunteer Fire Department. Commanded by Brandon Merritt. Included today in the guard are Gina Catalana, Janet Chamberlain, Rodney Town, and Brian Wells. Please join in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. Thank you. And now we will have the singing of our national anthem by Amy Parrish and Miranda Parrish, a lovely, talented mother and daughter uh, duo from New Boston. Solemnized with pomp and parade, with shows, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, and fireworks from one end of the continent to the other. Adams would be extremely pleased to know that a cannon that fought in the War of Independence would be used to celebrate this day 238 years later. Several other towns in New Hampshire are celebrating their 250th birthday this year. But New Boston stands out because of our unique inheritance, the Molly Stark Cannon. Old Molly has had many adventures over the years that she's been in town, and she developed her own magic trick, actually. It's called a disappearing act. It seems that every town in the area, Goffstown, Manchester, Milford, uh, Concord, actually the state of New Hampshire, and even the government of the United States, wanted to possess our cannon. In 1852, the New Hampshire legislature abolished the militia company and said, okay, you don't have any militia in New Boston, we want your cannon. 
uh, oh, we said, fine. They sent their delegation down with the flags flying into New Boston to pick up the cannon. But she was nowhere to be found. No one knew anything about her. The agent spent a few day look, days looking for her and returned empty-handed to Concord. The cannon, of course, was found a few days later wrapped securely in oilskins at the bottom of the mill pond. The gun carriage was hidden in the coffin warehouse of a local undertaker. During the Civil War, the U.S. government issued an order that all brass armament be turned in so it could be melted down and made into new weapons. Oddly, no one in town had any idea where the Molly Stark could be. <laughs> Molly disappeared into the river, under haystacks, and in grain mills. But she also reappeared in perfect shape after the danger was passed. Uh, the new Boston Artillery uh, companies, which was reformed in 1938, sole mission is to guard and carry care for the Molly Stark Cannon. There are 20 to 30 active members in town and about 45 people who have served at one time or another. I want to um, introduce today's firing squad. It includes the gun captain, Lester Byam, the wormer, Justin Bowen, the rammer, Jonathan Poole, the thumper, Jeff Pierce, and Chuck Strasbaugh, who is the powder monkey. <laughs> Now, they're going to uh, be firing the cannon three times, so just be careful to stay away from the end there. You might get hit by a flying uh, piece of artillery, a flying bullet or something. And the first, the first person to fire the cannon is the newest member of the artillery company, Ben Dane. Great. Great, ben. <laughs> The second fire, uh, fire person will be Heather Strasbaugh, daughter of Larry Strasbaugh, a longtime member of the artillery company. And the third person to fire the cannon is the winner of the lifetime uh, contest that, that was held in the last few months to buy a ticket. And if your ticket was drawn, you would get to fire the Molly Stark. And that is Doug Martin. Carry on. Thank you. 
parade is going to announce the winners of the float contest. I'm short, so I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> First of all, we have two categories, large floats and small floats. We will start with the winners in the small float category. Number three, the third place winner in the small float category this is their third year, and their third year winning the New Boston Cheerleaders. Happy 250th. Conley. Congratulations, Pearl. And next we have the float number two, the New Boston Cheerleader float. Wishing uh, 250th anniversary wishes to the town of New Boston. I think we're going to get the cheer here. Like a warm glass of 
I've never seen anything like this before. Well, I made it myself. Oh. Well, let me help you with that. Thank you. I've never had a dress this beautiful before. My father had to make me for my 16th birthday. Now watch your hair. I love these clothes. Can't believe my And today, could you tell us what your thoughts are so far? The parade was wonderful, my goodness. The people who came out was just incredible. And the floats, my goodness, again, just absolutely awesome. Well, can you tell us how you feel about things going so far today on this wonderful 2013 Independence Day? What else can I say? It's, it's warm, it's hot, and the whole day has been a wonderful, warm success. Of course, we're celebrating the town's 250th anniversary also, as well as our 82nd Memorial Day commemoration. And the participation we have had by people in New Boston to make the floats and get that all together. We had a record number of floats this year. And the people who came to see them, I couldn't believe it. They were stretched probably a full mile along Route 13. In town, it was not even standing room only because of the uh, crowds. It's a wonderful way to celebrate our fourth and our Independence Day, and we think people are taking best advantage of it. And Woody, of course, emceeing the parade as usual, was full of laughter and uh, the crowd was uh, very well connected with his thoughts. Yes, that man is amazing. Yes, he really is. He can make is. anything fun to listen to, even his sermons. Yes, I'm sure he could. Well, thank you. We're looking forward to the rest of the day's activities. And uh, as people flow into the fairgrounds, we all know that it's going to be chock full this evening for the fireworks. Absolutely. And uh, thank you again, New Boston, for a wonderful celebration. Well, thank you for coming out and sharing it with us. Now, in honor of the 250th celebration, we have a 250th grand prize this year 
for the, the float that exemplified the spirit of 250 years, the best, and that prize goes to the Community Church Choir, celebrating New Boston's history built on faith. Thank you.